Okay. Right. Yeah. Thank you again. Um, we said before, before lunch in the morning, we are going to jump into contact drills, into defensive and offensive roles, but our players, it's not fair for them starting right into contact. So let's give them just one more drill where everybody needs to run up and down the court. Uh, no competition yet, but let's get moving. Let's go, so everybody knows what it is. You've done this probably many times. You've done it many times with your team. Well, yes, by passing is a layup drill. On the morning, on the morning, we were talking to take advantage of every drill we do in three very important pillars. The technical pillar, the tactical pillar, and the fitness or conditioning pillar, right? So this right here, so far, they are doing it just as a warm-up. But we mentioned, also we mentioned about competition. If we introduce competition, the intensity level automatically is going to raise. It's going to go higher. And therefore, when the intensity goes higher, we start focusing on all the aspects of fitness. OK, guys, stop, 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 stop. Thank you. Thank you. So right here, at the rhythm they are doing to warm up, we could go for the aerobic capacity. I think most of us, most of you as coaches, we understand this, right? This is because the intensity, let's put it this way, is not very, very high. As the intensity is raising, we go in the spectrum towards the anaerobic aspect. And basketball, for us, meets right in the middle with the aerobic and aerobic threshold. So we need to not focus just on one, but on many. We say competition. Every time you say the word competition in your team, doesn't matter if they are 12 years old, 14 years old, doesn't matter if they are professional, they go right maximum because nobody likes to lose, right? So they have done this as a warm up. Now we introduce the word competition. I hope nobody gets hurt. White team, we said, white team, you start over there, please. One, one player, one player, one player for the white team with the ball, there. One player on the sideline, one player of the white team on the sideline, and the other time on the sideline. There gotta be four blues and four, and four whites. Are we good? Yes, start on baseline. You start sideline, one white here. Same drill, very same drill, two teams at the same time on the court, but now they are competing. Coaches, you want to focus on technical aspect? Okay, everybody, just passing with the left hand. I'm not going to say it, because I'm a strength conditioning coach, so my goal is fitness level. But now we're going to compete. Instead of just passing, okay? First team, first team scoring eight layups, win. Yes, all the passers, all the passers gotta be outside the court. You cannot be inside the court to pass. Yep, so it's the same drill, but introducing competition. We will see automatically how we go from here, moving towards high intensity. Ready? We understand the drill? We understand the drill? Be careful, be smart. We say, heads up, don't bump into each other. Don't bump into each other. Ready? Eight layups, go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. One, one, let's go. No missing, let's go. Two old. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One mistake, somebody can make a mistake in the blue team. Three, two for blue. Three, two for blue so far. Three all. Let's go, three all. Let's go, let's go, white. You gotta go faster, you gotta go faster, let's go white. Four, four, let's go, let's go, let's go. One, come on. Yep, 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 go, 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 go. You're counting. Let's go. Why oh, make a mistake again? They miss a layup. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Good, good, good enough, good enough. Be honest. Can you see any different? Be honest. No? Yes? The shorter the activity is, we mentioned, the shorter the, uh, the drill is, the more intensive. 
Guys, get ready again. We're going to do just two layups. First thing, we're going to do the same. Okay, blue on this part. Just two layups. Just two layups. I can tell you, I've been, I've been uh, working out professional players, like lazy guys, they don't like to get loose starting the practice. When they start competing one into each other, like one-on-one -on -one competition, the intensity goes to the roof. It's two layups. You got it? No mistakes. Tension in the passes. Focus on the rotation. Go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Go! 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 Okay. Fine. Finish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a sip of water if you need so. That was all we, I wanted to see with no contact this time. Okay, they got warm up, and you see how the competition and how reducing the length of the activity is going to increase the intensity of the drill. Uh, again, mentioning, so remember, I hope it was kind of clear this morning. This morning, we're talking about three major pillars on every activity, the fitness level or the strength and conditioning level, okay, the technical aspect and the tactical aspect. Everything we have seen this morning has been with no contact. Again, it's not numbers that I made it up. It's like reviews and papers. Every non-contact activity implies or means that the 40% of the time in a non-contact activity, the player is either jogging or standing. Low intensity activity. It's okay, depends. If I, I'm looking for that, but I need to be aware that that's going to, going to happen during the time. Could you tell me what do you think is the highest intensity activity? Come on, I need some help here. Any guess? What is the highest intensity activity? No guess? Is it working? Yes? Yes, working. Okay. One-on-one -on -one and two-on-two, -on -two. but two-on-two, -two, yes, half court, not two-on-two, -two, full court, because it changes a lot, the space you are playing at. One-on-one -on -one and two-on-two, -two, half court, this means 33% of the time you are shuffling, shuffling means lateral playing, we were saying this morning, shuffling at high intensity. This morning we talk about frontal plane, sagittal plane, okay? I want to focus on, on shuffle plane. I need, to, I have a player, 14 years old, he's not good in defense, he's not good shuffling, I need to look for drills, I need to look for tasks where I make him improve this. Yep, we got it? Okay. I'll talk a little bit more about numbers. I think numbers helps a little bit to clear your mind, to understand the why we're doing something, okay? Let's put the guys now playing one-on-one. -on -one. But I like you, please, to help me with progression and regression. What I mean by that is we're playing drills. We're going to have some drills, some exercise on your, on, your, on your practice. And we're going to have a progression, okay, and regression. What I mean by this is a progression is harder, more complicated, more difficult, more intense. Regression, I'm making it easier. Yep. So I'm going to start. This is what we want. This is basketball, right? Five on five is not a small side of games. We were talking about the topic is a small side of games. Five on five is real game. But if we have time, we talk about it because depending on the parameters we modify, it affects to one or other performance. Guys, black, uh, white team, blue team, you're counting, scoring, competition. Okay, counting, scoring. You start here. I'm going to propose a one-on-one -on -one from half court. One-on-one, -on -one. okay? Blue line here, white line here. One white defender, white defender, step here. Blue defender, step there. You all are going to be here. 
Okay? Maximum. Maximum. Four dribbles from half court. Maximum four dribbles. Not at the same time. When you finish, you go. You finish, you go. Okay? If you if you stop in defense, if you're stopping in defense, another player for your team will come to defense. If he is calling you, you repeat. Okay? You good? You start. We count. Bye. Four, four dribbles. One, two, three. One, zero. Let's go. Next. One, two, three. Let's go. Next. One, one. If they score on me, I repeat. Two, three, four. Let's go. Two, one. Okay, stop, stop, stop. How many times? Score three. Blue is three points. White it. Two points. One, two points. Three, two. That's a drill. Easy. One on one. Three, two. Uh, I'm not gonna say it. I need your help. How we do it easier? Less impact. Regressing. I need a regression here. How we do this? They can? With more dribbles, do you think it's easier? Yeah. For who? For, uh, For offensive player, it's easier. And what about defensive player? It's harder or no? No. No? If they can use only three dribbles, it will be easier to defend. Yes. So with three dribbles. We say with three dribbles? Let's go with three dribbles. Only three dribbles. Let's go. Let's see what they feel like. Is good? One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, stop. You're good. Because I, we don't have much time, I'm going to try to help. Your idea is very good. The difference is now, place yourself on the court. How do you suffer more? Full court or three-point line? If you have to defend or you have to run, how do you feel more comfortable? Uh, when I start at uh, three-point line. Three-point line, right? It's more comfortable. If it makes me feel more comfortable, it means it's making the drill easier for me. Three dribbles is fine. Again, three dribbles, but from three-point line. Reducing the space, that's one factor. The factor of the space affects on the parameter of the fitness level of the conditioning I'm working at. Yes? I could do this by saying, guys, leave the ball, everybody, baseline, beep, beep test. You've done the beep test? Beep, 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 running. Okay, the coach is saying, hey, uh, Roberto, I need the team to play basketball. Why are they running? I said, well, they need to run. Yes, they do. They need to run, but they are running. I can make them run towards basketball, orientated. Small side games help to work on that Yes. Three dribbles. Here, let's go. First team to get to three mates. Three mates win. Let's go. One. One zero for white. One zero. Let's go. One, two, zero. Two, zero for, for white. Okay, stop. All the blue, all the blue. One push up. All the blue, you lose. One push up. Competition, three, zero. Good. We got one, one, three dribbles. Just a three-point line. I need you to turn me here. Come on, I got an idea. Yes, I got ideas. I, I used to do this, but I want you to try. How do you progress? How do you make it harder? Full court, perfect. That's good. We go one-on-one -on -one full court. Or even more stressful than full court is the time kicking. Stress in the game when the time is running up and you get a ball. So I don't know if we have the option to play with the, with the possession. I will be counting. Yes, six seconds to attack. Six seconds. Yes? We play half court, 
and we go six seconds. But now, to make a progression, it's one on one. Yes, you two. Stay on the half court. Stay on half court. Yes, you, you get out, so everybody see this. Get out, get out, get out. Get off the court, get off the court. One on one. They have as many viewers as they want. You mentioned, you mentioned full court. That's good. But six seconds. You got viewers as many as you, as you want. But you got six seconds. You every time you score there. You every time you score there. Yes? So if I score, he's going to the other side. If he scores, you attack. If I score, he's going It's like a basketball game, like a regular basketball game. You are defending that basket and you're trying to score on that one. Same the other way to you. You're trying to score there, and you defend the basket. Either shoot or steal, you run. Whenever you take the rebound or the steal, six seconds on the clock. I'm counting. First player to get to two baskets. First player get into two baskets. Good? Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Six, five, Four, three, two, one. Keep going. Six, five, four, three, two. Okay, stop. We see this? Yep. Full court is going to help. Playing with the time. If I have got the option, it's perfect. That's the progression, okay? Let's work on the two and two. We start here. This is a drill we used to play with the coach. Um, two and two, half court, with a pass in between, to help tactical aspect. Guys, I need one blue player, 45, another blue player, offensive player, and two white players defending. Come on, let's go. I got a ball. I got a ball. Good? Again, okay, because we are working on performance and we are working on fitness level and also on tactical level, my team, last game, last week, Struggle a little bit on the second help of the weak side. Weak side, weak side, weak side. We didn't send the, the help, okay? Listen to this, listen to this. When you got the ball, when you got the ball, you can either shoot, score, or pass me the ball, but you can never pass him. You pass me or, or shoot, but never pass him. When he got the ball, because your man cannot shoot, what you have to do? Help, help, help. When I got the ball, as quick as I got the ball, I rotate. You will have to go for the closeout. You will go there. Yep. You ready? We good here? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. Stop. Switch. Wide. Offense. Wide offense. Wide offense. You good? No? Okay. It's easy to miss. You see this? This is the regression. Why is the regression? Because I'm giving the players extra time to recover. I'm giving the players extra help to go on the weak side to help. That's the regression. Two and two. Same. Regular two and two. Half four, regular two and two. On a quarter of the court. How I need your voice is here. How we go two and two progression, more intense. Direct pass. Direct pass. I'm getting off the equation, right? What about if we do it the same? I just keep up the equation and they are running. We play two and two, full court. Two and two, full court. Yes? You got this? You got this? Two and two, full court, first team to score three points. Listen, three points, triple counts double. Layup or two point shot counts one point. We got it? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go quick, go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, white, white ball, white ball, white ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, come on. A 
Attack, attack. Bah. Go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. I want to push the players to run faster. Six seconds on the clock. Every time they get the ball, every time they get the ball, six seconds on the clock. I'm pushing them. I'm using full court. I'm going for six seconds. Keep going, keep going, go, go, go. Okay. Stop, stop. Player didn't check it out from baseline, right? Is that helping me or is that going against what I'm looking for? If they don't check it out from baseline, they could get bad habits in the game. But if I tell them, guys, you always have to do this, but in this drill, in this drill, as soon as you get the ball, run, 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 run. And that's what they do, because they are competing. Look at them. Guys, you tired a little bit? A little bit tired, right? I can do the bleep test. I can do the Cruz Navet. But as players, they prefer to do this than going to the park for a run. The coach will prefer this and we are optimizing the time, yes? Something I want you to, to know, to understand, the average, okay, average, and the maximum or the worst case scenario situation. I'll mention the factors later. Average, heart rate. During the game, when the ball is live, the average rate for professional players is 158 beats per minute. I need to learn a lot of figures for the speech, but um, I think I, I'm doing well. The maximum, maximum is 198 beats per minute. That's the maximum. My player is not going to stay for very long here. He's not. But he's going to get to this point at some point in the game. If my player during the practice don't get here at any point during the practice, we are not practicing well. Not every day, but we need to know. Average is this, but we need to practice for worst case scenario. Worst case scenario means maximum intensity, because in the maximum intensity, I don't know what it is, the guy with the scratches this morning. That's when either you are ready to perform or something will happen, right? And that's the main, my main concern, to have the, all the team safe. I say this because now we are going to jump on the three on three. And this is going to be affected, the heart rate frequency is going to affect it about the role in basketball. Rolling in basketball means Got a question, you raise your hand, okay? I cannot see your, your voice working properly. Raise your hand. Do you think alternating rows, offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense, is more exhausting or less exhausting than offense five times, than defense five times? If you think alternate offense, defense is more exhausting, raise your hand, if you think so. If you think attacking five times before defending is more exhausting, raise your hand. And the rest are doubting. Okay. So the answer is progressing more exhausting is alternation in roles. Is alternation. So if I want to make my players play in a three on three after the game, for example, a recovery, we play on Sunday, we practice on Monday, right? We need to do play a recovery. Okay, let's play a, a three and three coach, but there is a team that is going to offense four times before defending, four times, and then we switch roles. Yes? Guess who, the, who play, what players are going to be the one attacking? The player with more minutes in the game or the player with less minutes in the game? Yep, all those factors, you, you need to control them. So we're going to do it. Guys, I need, Three players half court, 
I need three players defending there, and I need three players defending there. Please. Let's go. One of you is resting. One of you is resting, or you alternate. Let's go. Three, three, three. Come on. All the eight. Ondra, ah, oh, sorry. Ondra is not working. Um, we're going to do then, listen, three on three, three on three, you two out, you two out, yes, three defenders here. We're going to do like this. This team attack all the time. We say four times, you're going to be attacking four times. One time on this basket, one time on that basket. One, three, one, one, you understand? You'll attack here, and you'll attack there. Give me the ball, please. Can I have a second ball? No, no, you got it. White team, you defend all the time. You defend all the time. As soon as you get the rebound, you throw it out, you pass, you pass it to me, and balance. You three players attacking. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Four attacks. Four attacks. I'm counting. Let's go. I'm counting. I got the other ball. Blue, 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 blue ball. Blue ball, blue ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stop, 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 stop. My mistake, my mistake. I didn't explain. We start again. When you shoot that ball, you forget it, and I have a second ball ready. I got a second ball ready. Pass me, pass me the ball, please. You're not waiting. You're not waiting. No, no, you're not waiting. As soon as you shoot, and the ball is off the game, I got the other one ready. Yes? Give me the ball. Four offense, four offense, counting. Let's go. Four offense, counting. Let's go. Let's go. Rebound balance, rebound balance, rebound balance, rebound balance, rebound balance. Keep attacking, keep attacking. They got the ball, they keep attacking. Let's go. Rebound, rebound. Let's go, let's go. Leave the ball. Blue, 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 blue. Let's go, go, go. Come on, come on. Let's go. I got the ball, I got the ball, I got the ball. Blue, 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 blue. I got another one, I got another one here. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Good. Paul, we're going to do alternating now. White team, you offense. Breath in, breath out. Uh, subs, subs. Subs, one blue. One substitution white, one player substituting. You good? Regular. Regular three and three. Look. We forget about the four times offensive player alternating attack and defense. First team, first team scoring two baskets. First team scoring two baskets. Yep. Ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. One zero, let's go. One one. Let's go blue, let's go blue, come on. Okay, stop. Two one. Progression. How do I do it? How do I do it? Progress. You got many factors you can play with. Not unlimited, but you got many factors. You can pass it, you got space, you got time. Depending on what you're looking for, you manipulate, you change one factor or other factor to make it harder or make it easier. I'm going to give them two, two instructions now. They're going to have yes, maximum two dribbles and maximum eight seconds for that because I want to make it harder because I want to go to the anaerobic threshold. I want to play more intensity. You ready? 
Play. Three on three. Three on three. Guys, only two dribbles. Let's go. Only two dribbles, eight seconds from the moment you get the ball to the moment you score. Uh, we go to five. Hey, we go to five points. We go to five points. Three point shot counts three points. Regular layups or two point shots counts double. Five points. Remember, how many dribbles? Two dribbles, eight seconds. Ready? Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Keep going. Blue, blue, blue ball. Blue ball. Eight, seven, six, five. Blue ball. Blue ball again. Go. Two, zero. No. Rebound. Good. Good effort. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rebound. Let's go. Let's go. Put it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. For the win. Stop. Ah, he missed the other one, right? He missed the other one. It's good. My bad, I stop it. 3 0. Let's go. Let's go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Now it's done. Now it's done. I will pretend I didn't see again. Not check it out. No putting the ball from baseline. Huh? 3 step? 0 step. Ah, 3 dribbles. He did 3 dribbles. My bad then. Okay, yeah, uh-huh.